What's up guys, Jalil Beats here, and today I'm gonna to be going through and making a beat completely from scratch, including like melody, drums, everything, and the whole time I'm gonna be giving you guys like my thought process through the whole thing. For this video, I'm gonna be using my Screech drum kit, which is available on my site. If we get this video to 2,000 likes, I'm gonna send a bunch of commenters that kit. Follow me on my IG as well, at the CXDY, because I'm gonna start doing a whole bunch of uh, free kit giveaways on my story periodically, just randomly. In the description, there's also another free kit. I think it's my yogurt drum kit, so I'm trying to do the whole Oprah thing here, just give out a whole bunch of free shit. I don't know a better person. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. First things first, I'm just going to uh, kind of mess around with the BPM. I think I want to do like 132. I'm going to open up some Omni. I'm going to go with an arc to start with. Let's find a good one. Right here, I have helpers on, scale highlighting, and then I think, yeah, I'm in A sharp minor natural. So let's find something here. There's a little like high rain here that I don't really like that much. I gotta find out what that is. And this jazz guitar is fine. It's this whistle thing. I wanna pitch down that actual note because maybe it won't be as like high pitched here and see. So I'm gonna clone that and just get a bunch of layers going. This way, uh, there's a lot of variation in the track when I lay it all out and there's a lot of changes and stuff and doesn't get boring. Let's try like a bell or something. Maybe like right here at the end, we'll do something like this. Put it together, see how it sounds. Um, what I'm listening for here is just if these kind of clash, they do a little bit, but I'm gonna take care of that. I already have like an idea of what I'm gonna do. A lot of that is like mixing and EQing and the effects I put on this and stuff. So I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit and add a couple more layers in here. Find another maybe like bell sound. I like this kind of analog sounding. I think I'm gonna add one more sound. Let's try like another plug-in, like purity. Let's go with the ocarina. Every time I hear ocarina, I just think it's Zelda. Actually, first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these all over because I think I wanna add some more variation to switch it up. I just hate sometimes when like things get like way too repetitive. So maybe do something different over in this ending section here. Change this, I don't like this that much. Ooh, I remember the plug. All right, so I clicked Alt-Y for that to flip horizontally because I think I just want it to go up. So you're able to do that messing with these. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it more simple. Now I'm gonna do this last uh, little ocarina thing, see if I can come up with something cool. One thing I will say is when you're messing with your melodies a lot and you're working on like creating loops and stuff, you kind of start figuring out like what notes kind of sound good just in general and I find like C sharp C sounds good together F sounds good with those notes and like G G sharp sounds good like kind of all in conjunction you kind of figure it out just the more you practice the more you kind of get an ear for like what sounds complement each other like what notes in the scale complement each other well I do like that. I'm gonna strum these, uh, see how they sound strummed, if they sound like any more swaggy or anything. It sounds like some Super Mario sounds, like Super Mario World 2, like that one theme song. I kinda like that, and I'll be able to spice it up when I add some effects. I'm gonna solo each sound in the mixer and just kinda mix from there. I want this to sound very analog-like, so I'm gonna be adding a lot of RC20 to these sounds. Turn on space from the default, there's gonna be a lot of decay, so you could turn that down so it's not just uh, OD. Make it a little bit spacier. I'm gonna take out a little bit of the low end, not all of it though. This is a fire sound, I like this sound. This is a good accent, uh, probably some sad piano.
go on to the ocarina here do kind of the same thing myself for like a lot of the flutes i don't want them really in the front much turn down the dryness so it's not so much in your face more of a background and then i add some more retro color Alrighty, so from here, I'm gonna bring them all in split by channel so I have control over all of them. And especially if I'm gonna send these out for like labs or something, I'm gonna kind of just create a little thingy here. Do something like that. And then from here, I'm gonna record all of this. Also, when you do this, you could play with the pitch. So I'm gonna do that as well, just to show you. I kind of liked where I was at. I'll work with these from here. I don't think I want these going at the same time. Probably have this. Let's start some drums here. Get a pattern going. I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy one of these over into a sampler so that when I do these 808s, I can just copy the baseline. I'm just copy and pasting everything. Control A to highlight everything. Alt K to bring it all to this uh, C note. Control uh, U to slice it. all this by channel uh control shift so i bring them all in i have full control over everything and i kind of just like organize it from there <laughs> basically it making a beat from start to finish hopefully you picked up some stuff at least at some point really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please drop a like and subscribe turn on the bell notification and uh and yeah like i said get this thing 2,000 likes follow me on instagram give out some free kits to you guys so uh yeah peace